Hey guys, NASA Great Lakes, Eric Meyer, Chief Instructor, here to talk about speed trace and also do a little quick analysis from my good friend Mike Job. Let's get started. The goal of this session is for a first timer who's brand new to track attack and to data acquisition to learn about the basic speed trace. So you're going to score 100% and A plus on this introductory dumb down tell me about the speed trace and if you're advanced user and you already know about this uh, you might learn a thing or two and you might not but um, that's all up to you so let's find let's find Mike Job Corvette Mike right here and Autobahn and what we're seeing right here for this outing that Mike shared with us was he ran a 134 11 laps at Autobahn South on October 14th we're gonna highlight that we're going to hit OK. It's going to jump up. And if you have extra channels on here, just hit Reset. There's a whole bunch of stuff showing them. And just hit this GPS speed. Okay? Just that one. We don't want all this stuff on here because it's going to be too hard for you to learn and understand what the heck's going on. Just do this one right here. That's all, that's all you need for right now. Okay? Uh, right over here are his, uh, you can see his laps, right? His outlap. Um, slower for the warm-up, right? And then he comes off early. Um, in laps, eight minutes. Um, as you recall, the bold lap is always the fastest. You can see that, the number eight. So we're going to do that right there. And it's red, and this is red. And if we want to change the color, we can change it to green, right? We can see it like that, or we can change it to whatever. But we'll just make that red to make it really simple. Um, two goals. I'm going to tell you about the speed trace. I'm going to help help you see into the shape of the lines. And also, we're going to try to find one thing for Mike. Um, one action item. Guys, the name of the game is to read this data acquisition and then go, what's one thing that I can do on my next outing? And you go practice it. It's not to design the perfect lap and have big, huge algorithms and formulas and this, that, and the other. Just learn a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So let's get started. Uh, a little bit about a speed trace. Um, this graph right here, they pretty much all look like this. They're speed on the y-axis and distance, about two miles, on the uh, x-axis. You can see that in feet. And you can typically do it in meters or yards or inches or whatever you want to do. And you can do this in kilometers or mile per hour, but for the most part, most people do it in mile per hour and feet. You can change it to whatever you want to do. Um, as you look at these squiggly lines, most people kind of freak out and they're like, "I'm, dude, I'm lost already. And if you're feeling that way right now, I got it. I got a couple helpful hints for you. Okay. Number one, number one, here it is right here. There's a whole lot. There's the beginning, the start. Way over here is the finish. That's one lap. One lap at 1 minute 34.341. Start. Finish. Speed. High speed. Low speed. Low speed. Low speed. High speed. Okay? We're going to do this with this track attack. It's really nice. It's easy to use. See this little guy right here? We're going to hover over it. Okay, I promise we're going to hover over it. Track map. Boom! Um, when you first start, when you first start looking at this stuff, having a track map right here, and you can put it in various shapes and sizes if you want to make it bigger. You can go like this and go like this, however you want to do it. But um, I just kind of use it as a reference. You can hit this one right here, and it goes back. I'm gonna just make it kind of like that big. Um, this guy right here, that little blue guy, not the purple one. That blue one right there, that's the start and finish at Audubon. Um, it's almost always, always, always marked in your data for track attack. It's a nice feature that does that for you, um, which makes this turn one. So let's go through and, and do some little cheat notes. Start, which means this is the breaking for turn one. All right? Every single time, first break zone, pretty much at every trace, goes to turn one. Right? So now you know what that means. Turn one there. Here's the other little secret. See this big old long dude right there? 
What do you think that is? Yeah, absolutely right. It's the back straight. So you can pick that out easily, right? You can pick that out easily. There it is right there. Mike's going 116 miles an hour. By the way, if you don't have this little, uh, these little numbers, like uh, right there, 104.3, go right here to uh, that one, I believe it is. If your uh, cursor looks like this and you don't have the numbers, this one right here, and that'll hook you up. Okay, so um, so we know that halfway right here is the middle of the track, right? And we know this is a back straight, and we know this is the finish, and we know this is a start, and we know this is turn one. Everything else is kind of in between. And when you put the track map over here, and you wonder what these three things right here, you just plant it right there, look over to the track map over here, and go, ah, well, this makes sense. I'm breaking right there before corner entry, right? I'm going back to throttle. And I'm breaking again, right, around that corner. And we know that that corner for Mike is a 63-mile-an-hour corner. We know that that corner for Mike is a 73. And we know the high-speed uh, corner right there at Apex. He's running about uh, uh, not quite 80 miles an hour at apex. Mike, what are you doing right there, man? There's the apex. I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Okay. Remember, we had two goals. Understand what the heck we're looking at, and then find something for Mike. So we're going to look at these lines a little bit. I want to show you something. Tell me if you can see this. I'm going to highlight. Right here, I'm pushing my cursor down on my Mac, my mouse pad. I'm going to highlight that right there. And I'm going to go do this one right there. Okay. Do you see this? We're looking at, uh, we drill down. You can also do this. Plus, minus. All right. Do you see how it kind of comes up and it kind of bends right there? And it comes down and it bends right here again. If you're looking at this on a, uh, uh, if you're looking at this on a, um, on iPhone, you won't be able to see this. Get a big juicy monitor or a good laptop, I can see it here too. Comes up and it kind of just bends a little bit, just like that right there. I want you to see these little changes, right? I want you to see these little changes right here, right? I'm gonna hit this I. Okay, see that right there? I'm gonna get you to look at that a little bit again, all three of these. Gonna highlight, gonna hit this one right here. See that right there? So this one goes up, comes down. It's got a little flare on it right there. What would you think that is? This is how you learn this stuff. You think. Think to yourself. If that's throttle, what do you think that is right there? What is that? What's this right here? Have you figured it out yet? Let's look one more place. Let's look one more place. Let's look, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to highlight another one of these. Oh, look. We have two laps on here right now. And there's a couple things I want you to see. Again, this is, you're going to get an A plus 100 on this. This is uh, some intro to data acquisition, just so that you can see. These are two laps that are very similar. They're two and a half tenths apart, and they have some unique different nuances. And we're just going to point out a couple. We're going to point out this one right here. I'm going to highlight. Do that. Um, look at the track map over here. Right here. See, that's turn four. Very fast four. Let me tell you what I'm looking at right here. Here's a situation. There's a couple things going on about these shapes. You see the green lap, which isn't the fastest, the green map's a little faster. There's some tentative braking right here, and then and then more assertive braking. So there's a transition right here with the brake foot where, where Mike is gentle in the red lap, and then he gets on it. He actually, he actually keeps on it, whereas the green lap is what we like to call U-shape. And if you want to know about U-shape, you need to go right now to a wonderful thread that looks like this, 
and you need to drill down in the comments right here because our friend Peter Krause, who we are very blessed to have in this uh, uh, joining us, he has a uh, he has a definition of, of U-shaped versus uh, right here U's versus V's, and you need to read this one right here. Guys, read this right here. Read it three times. Read it four times. It's gonna make sense. And uh, this is how you learn data acquisition. And follow this guy, Peter. He's uh, he's a guru, and we're and I'm glad that he's uh, on our uh, group page and contributing. We're very lucky to have him. So this has a a, a more preferred U shape. This green line right here. See that green line? It's faster. He is off the brakes and rolling more speed through there. See right there? Minimum speed is four miles an hour faster. That is a preferred shape for a faster corner, that U. Okay? Just remember that. I want you to see that, the shape. Not so much the magnitude and the value, but the shape. And, and here's why it's important. It's important because on the slower corners, they're going to be Vs. And for something like this right here, I want you to not only see the shape, but I want you to see the magnitude. Okay, right here, here was an interesting shape where, where Mike is gentle on the brakes, and that's probably his area of opportunity, his action item. And he uh, brakes a little bit more in here. We know the car will go through there at 46 miles an hour. Wait, looks what, look what happens through here, right? The, um, this is going to be a little bit advanced, but trust me, I know you can do it. I'm going to back out a little bit of this to make it easier to see. Sometimes when you go like this, it's really hard to understand what these means, these uh, lines mean. But if you kind of do this a little bit, it works. So what we see in here is the green line breaks a little earlier and a little less assertively. This would be earlier. Down here at 6,150 feet, give or take. The red line breaks almost at 6200 or about maybe 70 feet later there's a tentative initial breaking on the green line they both break about the same the green breaks a little too much right we're both on the throttle here look at this thing you'd think and you would be normal that man look at that green line we want to do what that green line does Woo, man it's five miles an hour faster right there on the track go mike Woo. But it's a priority corner. Look where it look where it leads to. Look where it leads to. This blue, excuse me, this red guy right here got on the gas right there at six thousand six hundred and oh eighty feet. Went to full throttle, which is usually the person going to the full throttle the earliest wins. And way over here, a hundred and some feet later is where the green lap went. Well, guess what? The red lap was the preferred one, right? It made it up right here, and it was above the green the entire time. The uh, red lap was faster. So don't get fooled by this. Um, remember about those things in HPD1 about prioritizing corners? Um, the person that goes to full throttle uh, earlier um, is usually the winner. And it's almost true every time. Um, and in this case, it's, it's very true. Okay. So we, what did we learn here? We learned that this is turn one. We learned that this is start for the start finish. We learned that this is finished for, uh, for the start finish. We learned that these big things are straights. And down here, way down low, are really slow corners. So it's easy to see. Right? And the stuff in the middle usually kind of just kind of figure out. Um, we also learned that the shape right up here. And this is the issue that I'm gonna. I, I want to give. I want to give Mike an action item. Just one. Just one. You. Uh, you want to look at your data. In the next session, you want to go out with a goal. And I would suggest to you the goal that I'm finding in this data. And if Mike just came off track, and we were looking at his data together, I would say Mike. Here's what I would work on as, as if I were you. 
I would work on this. Do you see this right there, Mike? Let me come out a little bit. I would work on this tentative brake application. And uh, you can see in the green where we got up here and we went to brakes, this red, we were tentative, right? We were tentative. We kind of did kind of nothing. If uh, he is off the brake and going very gentle with his foot and then he's mashing it, right? Let's say, Mike, be more uh, assertive with the brake. Uh, that green that green one there as well. See that up at the top right there? I'm going to go look at it close. That red one, we're rocking. You actually you can see it kind of bends a little bit. He comes off the throttle and then he goes to brake. Look at the green one. Kind of comes off and kind of waits just a millisecond and then he goes to brake. So Mike, that is, uh, that's what I would do. I see it here. I see it here. I see it here. I see it here, and I see it here. Um, I also see these other laps, these red laps, where you're killing it. So for whatever reason, um, you chose on those red laps to drag the brakes a little bit and kind of be real gentle on your initial brake application, almost too gentle, and there's time right there. So that's the takeaway, the action item for Mike, and for you guys, for the... Uh, just learning this, you uh, this is a speed trace, and be careful when if you put too many laps on here uh, when you're first learning this, because it kind of gets confusing. Like this blue one right here, that's probably traffic. Um, you don't need all that stuff. It it makes it hard to learn this stuff when you have too many laps. Just pick one. Oops. Just pick one or or pick two. And just start looking, looking at it, and going, "Hey, what does that mean? What does that mean?" Look for, look for little trends like that little flare right there, right? That little flare right there. Nice, pretty breaking. Look for any U shapes. This is turn four, right? I'll talk about what that means in the middle of that. But there you go. Um, this stuff is important to know for the Intro to Data Acquisition seminars or workshops, rather which are right here. Go here, find one, find two, sign up, do your homework, understand what a speed trace is. You've got to understand this. If you come to a workshop and you don't get this or you haven't looked at this, please don't come. I need you to, I need you to do your homework. Um, I really do. Uh, the people who get this when they come in, I want to work with you. The people that come in that say, I don't have a track attack account, I haven't looked at any data, um, I would prefer that you not come and waste people's time at a, uh, at a workshop, and I mean that sincerely. Um, there are people here that want to learn, and if you're asking kindergartner questions in a, uh, in a middle school classroom or elementary classroom, that's not fair to them, because they did the work, they studied. So that's it. I'm Eric Meyer. We'll talk to you soon.